Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Z Project Brush. Um, I think it's a really handy tool that definitely could help out with a lot of things and flows and ideas. So I've prepared a couple things here. I got this sphere that I just made like a concrete, crack concrete looking um, look to it. Okay. I also have this brick one that I made as well with just a simple alpha with a Z brush. So what I want to do though is I want to put some of these elements on this. So we're going to do that by using the Z project brush. So with concrete one selected, I'm going to go to sub tool, okay, and I'm going to append the brick one. So you can see what happens now. I have my concrete and my brick um, sphere. So this is what I like to do. Um, I like to change my material color to the one that I'm working on. It's just easier to see the difference. So I'm just going to change this concrete shape to a fast shader. Then I'm going to make sure I am in RGB, telling ZBrush material and color information. I'm going to color fill object. And you'll notice over here now, that object is now the fast shader. This one is not. So if I switch back to my red wax, as you see now I can see the white and I can see my uh, brick. So what we're going to need to do here is I'm going to switch to the Z project brush under your brushes. I'm going to switch to the free hand. Uh, I'm going to make my brush size mm, fairly good size. I'm going to take RGB off. I'm going to have Z add on, and I like to keep my intensity somewhat low. This is the beauty of ZBrush. I'm now going to paint in these bricks onto the concrete. So you can also be in transparency mode so I can see what I'm going to be painting. So I want to bring some of that brick out right here. So make sure that you're on the one that you want to paint. I want to paint on the concrete. I want to bring this detail into this. So that's why I've got a concrete shape selected. So let's just start. And this is the beauty of this brush. I can control it. So I can say what what comes and what goes. Um, don't be afraid to use Alt as well. You can use an Alt key as well to push back some detail. So I'm just bringing in some brick slowly. And I can lightly bring in. I can strongly bring in. I can lightly bring in. So you can just turn this layer off and you can see what we've done. Here's a nice another little trick, a combination of a couple brushes. So I can also go ahead and store Mark Target on this. So I'm going to go down to Mark Target and store Mark Target. Now what I can do is I can use this now to combination with my Z Project brush and my Mark brush. Okay, so we're still on Z Project, we're still on the concrete, but now we've saved the Mark Target. So let's paint in some bricks here that we're going to want to bring in. So now that I've got some bricks here that I want, and I'm like, hmm, I look at it and I go, you know what, that's kind of strong. I don't want it like that strong. So if you switch to your morph brush, because we've saved a morph target, switch to freehand, you can now morph in the original concrete. So but I can do a nice, very faint bleed on one side so it's slowly bringing that other one out. So it's a, a really very very cool technique to use. So you just move around this sphere and make where you want to put your brick layers in. Make sure to have always both on when you're using the Z-Project brush. If I have this off there's nothing for ZBrush to project. So make sure you have both your layers on. Make sure you're in Z-Project Make sure you get Z add on, and then wherever you want your intensity. So I'm just slowly going to bring in some brick into this. Just move quickly through it. Yeah, good. And then now that we have that, I want to go ahead and now use the Z project brush to paint 
some detail onto this. So this is what I have finished with. So this is my done combined sphere with um, the nice light concrete into the bricks being let in together. So it created a really cool looking rock concrete. Of course you could be on a sphere or a plane. So the next step uh, we're going to do is now I'm going to paint textures right under this brick using the Deeper Check brush. 